All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Monday, December 5th, 2011. Um, we're going to go over the trades we took in the live trading room this morning, the ones we took, the ones we didn't take, and the difference between them. Um, we had, let's start off with the results. We ended up down one point this morning, okay? Minus 12 ticks on three contracts. We're down one point. All right. Now, let me slide right back over here to where we started the day our very first trade right out of the box right here it was 9302 we went long right here and that promptly went right down to our stop and stopped us out to the tick went back up a little bit past our entry not enough to get us to move our stop to break even so we would have ended up stopped out of that trade no matter what um, let me go through the setup for it though we had a fresh bubble right here okay we had a fresh bubble right there, and it was our first pullback down to the BBC after the fresh bubble. Okay, so that trade just did not work out. We did not have another trade all the way up here. We had chop right up until the uh, right up until the top of the hour, which was 10 o'clock. We had a high impact news event come out. It was bad news. Um, it really didn't do anything but make the market go sideways for a while. All right, we didn't have any more opportunity in all this area right in here we didn't have any more opportunity okay so we started to look at other time frames um, in here we switched over here to the 10,000 contract alright now if you go back here the thing the one thing about that first trade this morning that I'll show you that was not in full agreement and this goes back to uh, the stuff that we talked about in the partners meeting last week I'll point it out to you in here and um, and I'll show you here on these two different charts okay the one thing that was not in perfect agreement with that let me scroll back here on this chart as well um, I want to make it so you can see the time down there at the bottom <clears throat> alright this is where we entered the trade over here right on the uh, it was right at 9.30, exactly at 9.30. So it was up here, right up here near the top. Um, the one thing that wasn't in agreement was the BBC. The BBC over here was at 12.61. We like all the BBCs across all three of these time frames to be within a point of each other. Um, this one was at 12.61. The, the BBC on the 10K at the time was down here at 12.59, right in that range. <coughs> Right here, 1259. Our stop on this trade was at 1259 half. So the BBC here was outside of the two point range of our stop. Um, and over here, it was beyond one point on the 2100 tick. All right, not to confuse anyone, but that was that was one of the things we went over to look for, and, and we didn't have it in this particular trade. I just jumped right in and took the trade because I thought the market was going to continue moving up. It took a while for it to continue moving up, but eventually it did we didn't have any more trades here off the uh, four tick range we got stopped out to the tick we didn't have any trades here on the 10k as well or either all right the only opportunity we did have was right over here we had this bearish cross right here and we were looking to short and we were trying to short and trying to short but we were trying to short it over here on the 2100 tick not so much there on the um on the 10,000 contract chart all right um, there was a long trade in here on the 2100 tick that we didn't take, but this was the short right here. Um, the reason we didn't take it is because, again, not everything came together. Um, we took the trade off. We tried to get into it. We were trying to get into it and trying to get into it, and then we didn't take the trade. We took our order off. And obviously the market did run in that direction, but we had taken our order off. So that's it. We didn't have <clears throat> We didn't have a trade there. We did take a trade earlier in here, though, on the 2100 tick, uh, right here. After we had the bullish cross, we had this bullish cross over the 50 right here. We had a bullish cross right here. Price pulled back down. We went long right here. And when price hesitated up here, this was near our target, price hesitated up here. And this was the high of the day at the time. Um, so we moved our stop up to plus one point and we ended up getting out there with plus one point obviously it continued on in that direction but we got out with plus one point on that trade All right. Um, over here on the YM 
I did not take this trade. I tried to take it. I had my order here at uh, 163, 12, 163. Or I think I had mine at 162, and Dwayne had his at 163. Dwayne entered at 163 and watched it go all the way up here to 173, and it came back down here and got him out at plus one point. All right, I never got an entry on this trade, so there was nothing there for me. Um, let's see. Over here right now, on the 10K, it's giving us a bullish cross. We have resistance up there at 64.5. On the 2100 tick, it's already given the bullish cross. Um, and we're not using support and resistance there. The cycle is not in favor completely yet. Using the Mike R trade here, it's not over the 50, so you'd want to see that over the 50 for the pullback. All right. Um, now, And that's it. That's all we had for the morning. All right, so we're minus one point on the morning. 12 ticks on three contracts, minus one point.